Okay, in this video for the Triax TSC114 Servio approved combo receiver, we're going to show you basically how you can scan in uh, all the UK uh, satellite TV stations from scratch, okay? Now, the disadvantage of doing this is basically you're going to pull in hundreds, they're going to be all over the shop, and basically um, there's going to be a lot of duplicates in it and things like that, okay? And then you're just going to have to go and sort and reorder them and delete them you know, the ones you don't want yourself, okay? So we always recommend you should use uh, use our pre-programmed list or something like that. At least from that point, you'll have less work to do if you're not happy with our ordering of the channels. But we try to order them as logically as we can and group them into, you know, particular um, genres and things like that. So, you know, for the most part, people seem happy with it. But if you, if you are determined to go ahead and do this, this is how you do it anyway, okay? So there's two ways you can do this. You can do this from the initial install pages if you turned it on and bought it and uh, non-pre-programmed from us, or you can do it from the normal menu inside the box, okay? So the best way really of doing, you know, of killing two birds with the one stone in this video is basically to do this, okay? On the initial install page, just hit the exit button. Okay, and it'll come up database empty, and what that basically means is there's no channels pre-programmed on the box whatsoever, okay? So what you want to do then is simply hit the menu button. Now by default you'll end up in this installation menu, and what you want to do is arrow overwrite, and it'll ask you for a password, and by default the password is four zeros, okay? So the first thing you'll see there is installation type, and it says DVBT. Now the T stands for terrestrial, which means basically the Serview channels. And that's not what we want to do in this video. There's another video showing how you can scan for the Irish Serview channels. But what you want to do is arrow overwrite and select DVBS, where the S stands for satellite, okay? Now, on this box, uh, the next thing you do is basically go down to the satellite list and then hit the right key, okay? Now, there's only one satellite pre-programmed into this box, which, for the Irish market, more or less, is okay. Now, on a lot of other boxes, there's tons of them in there, but this is handy enough, and it actually avoids confusion for the vast majority of people, which is actually another good thing. But, for instance, this box is capable of getting SARESAT, and you'd actually have to add on the SARESAT satellite onto it. Um, into the satellite list but just for general purpose getting the UK channels this is set up absolutely perfect and it's just so user friendly because you just can't really make the mistake you can't pick the wrong satellite you know things like that okay so obviously there's only one in the list it's highlighted and all you have to do is hit the blue button to scan okay so you can change some of the sentence here if you want but it's no need to really and um, they're all set up okay and press enter to start so this is going to work through all the channel lists and you can see them coming in there already. Now, as I say, it's going to pull in hundreds and they're all going to be all over the shop, basically. Um, we have another video showing you how you can basically, you know, delete the ones you don't want and um, go through, you know, like duplicates or, you know, perhaps if you have kids in the house, you might want to get rid of some of the, you know, the adult content channels, things like that. Um, it's also going to pull in a pile of radio stations as well at the same time. Okay, now... The one thing to note is really, as I said before, what you really should do, you know, it's just so much handier, is just buy the pre, um, choose the pre-programmed option when you're buying the box. Because even, as I say, if you're not 100% happy with the way we have ordered the channels, and as I say, we have tried to do them as logically as we can and as user-friendly as we can, it just leaves you with so much less work to do uh, if you want to move you know, move things around or delete ones or add ones or things like that, okay? Um, it just makes your life so much simpler. Now, the vast majority of people do choose the pre-programmed list and they seem very happy with it, the one we have set up. But, um, you know, if, if you want to do this yourself, you can, you know, <laughs> if you're a bit of a glutton for punishment, let's say, you can do this full satellite scan and, um, you know, if you have a, a couple of hours to kill then, that's no problem. You can go and reorder them and sort them out. Okay, so that's just going through there. So just while that's going through, we have a bit of dead air to kill here, basically. So um, we'll just talk a little bit about the TSC-114. The, the TSC-114 is basically Ireland's first Serview-approved combo receiver, okay? There are there are a multitude of combo receivers on the market, Um which all work fairly well, and we have some ourselves. Um, but this is the actual first one that met the Serview standard, okay? Now, to meet the Serview standard, it needs to meet several criteria. But basically, when it says it's Serview approved, it means it's only Serview approved on the Irish 
Serview channel end of things. Um, and what that means then is basically there's things like uh, over the air updates, um, future interactive services that may be coming down the line, series link for Serview, things like that that will work with it, okay? And the one, the one thing really that differentiates, apart from the fact that Servio proved, um, that differentiates this box from you know a generic standard uh, combo receiver, is that it has a thing called an MHEG five layer in it. Okay, and what that allows you to do is, it allows you to get the new digital teletext service in Ireland. Okay, which is just far superior to the old teletext service. And if anyone has ever used the BBC's, um. You know their online uh, teletext on digital you it's very similar to that and you can see you know you'll know how good it is but apart from that the mhig 5 layer does allow other things like for instance as i say future interactive services that may come down the line um you know things like that so it is very um it's very handy to have it in your box just to get the full functionality but you know there is the case where these boxes will be more expensive than a generic one and you know if you're not married to the idea of digital text and interactive services and things like that well you know you're as well off just to go for a um you know just a generic uh a generic combo receiver um examples of which might be say for instance something like the zoro 9000 or the smart cx61 something like that okay now, um, we're just coming up towards the end there, and it says save the search results. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. So you can see there, I've got 353 satellite channels. Okay, and when it comes in there now, I'm just going to show you basically. Okay, we can exit out of that. So, just to give you an example of what's ahead of you when you have to go and reorder and sort you know and sort and delete these and things like that and we have another video showing you how to do that this is what you're faced with just to start off there you have six channel four so you'll have to get rid of five of them for example and you know move them into the order you want so you can see there what's ahead of you <laughs> So anyway, as I say, if you're a bit of a glutton for punishment, you can do this and there's no harm doing it at all. And if you have a bit of time to kill, it's uh, there's a great sense of achievement at the end of it when you have it all sorted out. Um, but as I say, you're just far better off to just buy the pre program box, just save you a lot of hassle and things like that. So that's basically it, how to scan in all the UK satellite channels on the, uh, the Servio approved Triax TSC 114.